You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul. And my name is Rob, and uh, super glad to be here with you as always. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your day with us. Ask drone at you.com for your questions. Definitely send in those questions. Uh, we're going to have a great show today, kind of talking about equipment necessary for getting started up in communications inspections, cell tower inspections. And I will just say really fast, if you've been watching CNBC or Bloomberg or any national news and you've seen those commercials of Verizon showcasing how they're flying drones around their sites, just remember that uh, TV is not real and no one really uses a Mavic to do that work. But that brings us to our question today. (laughs) (laughs) Indeed it does. And uh, we should have this be brought to us or to you by our cell inspection class. I mean, our cell tower inspection class, right? That's right. Are you uh, just trying to work PJ in here one more time? Uh, uh, sure. We actually, I feel like that's one class that I want to do an update on at the end of this year because there's so many uh, communication tower aggregators or data aggregators now that that class was all about how to do it. It doesn't matter the service that you're using, et cetera. But now it's gotten so much more specific. And uh, that's one class. That what do you mean by specific? I mean that like, for example, you're, you know, cell, we've gone from cell phone tower mapping and inspections to cell phone tower data aggregation and real estate. Gotcha. And, okay. So like they have a database of, or a database, however you use potato, potato data of all of their towers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So well, well, hold on. No, don't, don't, don't stop there, Rob. I mean, um, look, I mean, yes, you're totally right that there is a database of cell towers, right? There's a database of these communications products. Why is that important? Well, we don't really have an accurate map of how many 500 watt antennas are over how many towers in Albuquerque, right? The reason I stopped is because the minutia gets deep really fast. Well, that's every drone that's, job in the, in the perhaps, industry. <laughs> perhaps, But that's why I just went, yeah, and left no, it I, at that. I know, but I like talking about the details. So no, anyway. I know, and that's great. So, so uh, have yeah, at yeah. It. No, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but anyway, it, it does actually bring up a good point of, uh, you know, as I think about it, every time I go into a cell phone store, which is very rare, by the way, it makes me think of those coverage maps, right? And those yeah. coverage maps are really just like a uh, well we kind of think this area is covered so we're gonna shade it in yeah <laughs> you know? yeah how do you define covered is the question i think they should actually do an advertisement someone some cell tower company probably t-mobile should do an advertisement that says we just want to showcase how spread out our 5g is and then like a five-year-old girl just like pulls up like a drawing of the united states <laughs> and like <laughs> covers it in like 5g year and i would just end the commercial All like scribbled that outside the line uh-huh. Or whatever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was trying to cover for Cuba. <laughs> that could actually be a funny commercial. Uh, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anyway, uh, let's get into today's show. It's actually a very good question uh, brought to you by the Drone U members. If you're a member, thank you very much for supporting everyone and our mission here at Drone U because ultimately we are here to help you. That said, if you want to help us a little bit more, leave us a review on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you download the show. Hello, my name's John. I live in Oregon. I just purchased a Mavic 2 Pro to start my drone business, primarily in the wireless telecommunications industry. I do site visits on a routine basis, and typically the customer's information is not very good on tower loading or on site layout. I plan to use the drone for tower mapping initially, but I would also like to be able to do a site map, not a survey grade, but just be able to map a site from the air and pinpoint the corners of the buildings to the tower location, the generator set, those type of things. I'm wondering if I can do that without a large investment in 
RTK equipment by using ground control points? That's my question. Thank you. Thanks, John. AstroNew.com for your question. Appreciate uh, John taking the time and effort to uh, send his in. Um, I don't know that there's a, I mean, sometimes we just have to say no, right? Yeah, before we go into the if this, then that kind of algorithmic uh, fashion of explaining things, uh, I think the answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, 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 yeah. and, and also, it's very difficult for us to know what a lot of money is to somebody. And so we're going to <sighs> make some assumptions, right? Yes, yes. We're going to make some assumptions. But uh, anyways, it is doable. It, it is. is yeah, I'm over here laughing because I just kind of think of uh, uh, back in high school and college when I walked watched South Park and just kind of remember uh, the whole, uh, you know, when 2008 came around. And we're going to put your money over here. We're going to put it over here. We're going to put it over here and it's gone. <laughs> like, I mean, I mean <laughs> it just is kind of like, <laughs> it's you know, like, oh, uh, this, if that, if that, this and no, the answer is no. Yeah, All right, so that's we'll, funny. We're Not just... A- <laughs> I was never a South Park fan, so I'm, but I, but that's funny. Neither really was I, but that particular show just stuck out like a sore thumb. Um, yeah. I, Rob's right. The answer is really no. Uh, you know, if you do, um, first off, right, Rob, how many jobs? I mean, we have a drone you instructor right now doing one of these jobs. They're flying cell towers. How many cell towers per day are, are they asked to do? Well, we we're just talking pre-show minimum five, probably. Five, yeah. Minimum. Five towers per day. The good news is, is that John said he's already doing site visits. So Great. he's got a nice um, built-in funnel. So that being the case, uh, maybe a lot of money is more than, say, the average person because you've already got some built-in revenue, I presume, right? Mm-hmm. And you might, you're going to probably have to invest in your business in this very specific way. Yeah. If you want to keep going down the road that you're talking about. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Um you know, that brings up a, a lot of really good points, Rob, because if he's already got the funnel, why not just buy the fam? Why not get an affordable means of GPS, right? There are really two types of affordable means of GPS, right? We've got the arrow point system. It just can't get easier than that. You push and you do it, okay? And then we've got the uh, the Reach uh, RS2, great system. Um, but, you know, when we talk about five jobs per day, it's a perfect example of why you don't want to, you know, follow the Verizon commercials on how to be a drone pilot um, because it's not going to be physically possible for you to map five sites with a Mavic 2 Pro. Why? Linear rolling shutter, right? We have to fly slower, at least half slower, if not in safe mode. Okay, if we do that, we're now doubling to tripling the time to acquire these images, let alone doubling the time to process those images, right? So he's not going to be able to complete these jobs with the current equipment that he has and the deliverable that he wants to achieve. That's number one. So we talk about, is it quote unquote affordable? Well, it is it affordable to buy a fifteen hundred dollar Phantom and uh, let's say let's say top end couple grand for uh, arrow points or an RS two unit? Is it expensive relative to the decisions that he's already made? And the answer is yes. <laughs> is it expensive uh, if uh, you know he had kind of like been told or figured out that he needed to do this mapping? You know, probably the answer would be different, right? A lot of times we're a human, we we don't always know uh, what's expected of us. And sometimes those things also evolve, right? And so that said, can he get into this cheaply? I would argue that sub $5,000 to service an already existing line of business is about as cheap as it's going to get, Rob. Absolutely. Yeah, I totally agree. That's it seems like a no-brainer. And, and in terms of using GCPs, I mean, you've got to have a way to mark the point, right? Yeah, so, but air, yeah, yes. Which, yes. I mean, could be this, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. arrow sure. points are the... are Correct. What, what Rob is alluding to is that ground control points are actually two pieces of technology, right? You have the target that you can actually mark the photos, and then you have the GPS receiver that's used to actually acquire the point. Uh, arrow points are one in the same 
they combine those. But typically, if you're using like a Reach RS2 or a, a Leica GS18 or GS20, right, you need some sort of target like a landing pad, which is to Rob's very good point uh, that Paul did not figure out until just now. Yeah, Rob, that's a great idea. If you're looking for drone you landing pads, check out the drone you dot com <laughs> for landing oh, pads. I actually wasn't doing that. But. <laughs> so I was trying to figure out where where this was going. So that's no, no, I, I was just saying, for example, when you say GCP and can I get away with not buying all this expensive equipment, the landing pad, that piece of it does you no good without the ability to Market. find the point. Yep. Mm-hmm. Right. And so you're going to have to figure it out either through something like this, in which case you don't need the landing pad. Or the RS2 or some other means, right? hundred percent, right? yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> just make sure I'm not speaking out of turn here. Yeah, it just, it, gosh, there's such an opportunity to disrupt the surveying industry with with, our, with GPS. Just because there, I mean, you, you mean you look at arrow points, uh, there's your example, right? But... Well, and I think that brings up a really good point. So when it comes to this investment that it looks like you're going to need to make, John, don't think of it just in terms of cell towers, because once you have that equipment, now you've opened up all sorts of other opportunity for yourself. 100%. Right? So that's, uh, it sounds like a, a pretty solid investment, Potenti- especially in your case, because you've already got a built-in funnel to use it. So, I mean, $5,000 to take advantage of a, a predetermined line of revenue. In all of your businesses, jobs, things that you've done, five grand to start making money right away. How, how much does that exist in the world? Yeah, I don't think... Uh, Other than a lawn mowing business, don't need to go there, okay? Lawn, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> or a pyramid scheme. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> oh, I have something I want to say right now, but I'm definitely not going to say it. Yeah, no, absolutely. It seems like a pretty reasonable... And again, uh, John, we don't know. John might be thinking that a lot of money in terms of this context is, I don't want to spend 20 grand, right? So we don't really know. And, and if he can go out and do it with five, then maybe he's like, let's do this. I think five is totally possible, frankly. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I really do. Would you, would you, given what we know, making some assumptions, just sell the Mavic two pro and it depends on fundage, right? And how much money he has. Yeah. Because the Mavic two pro is such an awesome drone for video and photos. It, it's yeah. be, I think it's better on photos than a Phantom four pro, but I think Phantom four pro video is better than a Mavic two pro. But if I were standing here under the lights of like the national news, what drone are you going to fly at sunset? What are you going to capture right now? And I had the Phantom, a Mavic 2 Pro, or a Zoom. I'm going with the 2 Pro, the Mavic 2 Pro. And the reason why is that hyperlapse feature. I just love that look. Uh, it, so I was just sitting here thinking like, I mean, there was literally a day at the Outer Banks where I was like, oh, wow, the sunset's amazing. I am not prepared. What drone am I going to go get? Uh, 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 Mavic 2 Pro. And I had the Inspire. I had the Phantom. I had all the Mavics with me. And I just... He didn't leave me jack, in other words. <laughs> anyway, long story short is, if it were me and I had disposable income, I would keep that drone. Absolutely. I'm so, making the presumption that that disposable income is not there and he needs to get to the starting point of taking off, so to speak, in this in this business. I wonder how old his Mavic is because I've been hearing some really awesome stories of DJI's customer service recently where like people were like 90 days out from or sub 90 days out from buying a drone and hmm. they replaced it for them or gave them a different one. I mean, hmm. look, we are all human. We all get very excited when it comes to new technology and we are all guilty of jumping into things before fully knowing Right. Uh, I mean, I would argue that half of our population does that with the cars that they purchase. But who am I to speak? So uh, also, if everyone was making super wise, smart decisions regarding taking our time to buy things. Right. There wouldn't be opportunities to get uh, great deals. Right. So there's always two sides of the issue. But I think on that note, the long and the short of it is the answer is no. You're really going to need uh, either Reach RS2 or Propeller Arrow Points. One is RTK, one is PPK, arrow points being PPK. Also, you're going to need a Phantom, most likely, until we have a decent American solution that can actually 
do what a phantom can do. Mm. And that might be years away. But anyway. Yeah. And unfortunately, there's not a great market, I, I, I don't think, in most, if not all markets, for renting the GPS equipment, right? I mean, you can, yeah. depending on where you are. There's survey suppliers that will rent this stuff, but that can get pretty expensive too. 100%. You might as well buy it. Depending, again, assuming that John's got this flow of business that it seems he has. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Anyway, all right. Well, on on that bombshell, that is going to do it for us today. Really no bombshell. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> um, as always, my name is Paul. I'm Rob. Thank you for the questions. Go to askdroneu.com. That's going to do it for us today.